The Maldives, blue water, tropical islands, white beaches, stunning sunsets and luxury to the max. But how is the UME resort? Does it live up to the hype? Let's find out. What's up guys, welcome to another video. I'm at the UME resort in the Maldives and I'm gonna show you around. When you arrive at the resort, you arrive right here at the logo you and me Maldives right here here's the swimming platform you get here by seaplane and it's around a 40 minutes ride from Mali and then you are greeted by this beautiful turquoise water right next to the entrance you find the diving center here you can book your dives um, the dives are quite expensive but Everything in the Maldives is quite expensive though. This, this is just regular pricing here. We didn't test the dives here because we didn't go on to go, but you can order your dives right here at the diving center. Now in front of me, you can see the reception. It's open 24 hours a day. That's where you arrive. You get a fresh towel and you get the welcome drink and then you get chauffeured to the room with the golf buggy right there. There's also a photo shop, a souvenir shop and a book shelf where you can lend out books. Then right next to the reception there is the water sports point. Here you can rent jet ski and all the other fun toys. The only thing which is included here are the kayak and the stand-up puddle. There's already a lady out there on the stand-up puddle and the kayaks are for free. Everything else is chargeable and the prices are actually quite high. But you can rent jet skis here, you can rent kite surfs, wakeboard and so on and so forth. Then when you walk or when you drive to your bungalows you can walk this road and I think it's actually quite fun to walk this road. Um, sometimes you can see bats hanging up the trees or you can see some other animals and um, I always can recommend walk this road, walk a little bit around so we can see fun stuff which we, you probably don't have in your home country. So this is the way to go. In this road on your right side you can find the beach villas. They have outdoor bathroom and the private pool. Uh, there are only a few of them, a handful of them, I think five or something. And yeah, so if you're staying at the beach villa you are staying right here. So here you can see the entrance to the beach villas. They're quite private, uh, you don't get bothered at all by people. Um, barely anyone is walking right here or right here because that's the only way if you want to go to the reception. That's the only way you go and you barely go to the reception because something I didn't mention yet, you get a private butler and you communicate with him on WhatsApp and whenever you want you can text him and he will organize it for you. So you never have to really move to the reception for anything. Yeah, so that's why you barely walk this road. We're arriving next at the flower garden. I think it's a lotus garden. Uh, where sometimes beautiful flowers are blooming, but at the moment not so much. I think if you come in time, uh, this one looks pretty beautiful. Unfortunately, at this time, there's only this hanging around. But yeah, it's a nice touch to walk through one time or two times. So quite cool. So we arrived at the You and Me Spa. It's right here. Uh, I think it's quite beautiful, but uh, we didn't order anything. You can have massages here and so on. But the prices are quite high, so expect for 250 US dollars for a massage, which is very high in my opinion. So if you want to treat yourself, this is the way to go. Here is the spa area. And behind me you can find the silent beach. There is quite a quiet beach area. There are enough chairs. You always find the chair right here. The bad thing about this beach or the good thing, however you want to call it, you don't get any Wi-Fi signal here. So here you are undistracted from anything. You can just lay down, sunbath and go to the water. Here at the silent beach you can hang out. You can see all the rooms in front of you. And this is the view. We are outside of the room right now. I hope you can hear me. There is our door and there is our neighbor's door. This is actually absolutely no problem. You can't hear anything. It's very well isolated. You can't hear anything going on from outside. You can't hear anything from your neighbors. So it's 
pretty good. And this is the walkway. You get pretty nice views on the water. Here on the right side you have all the suites. On the left side you have the Manta Villas, which we are staying. So, double-sided. Yeah. Before I start the tour, I want to know from you, are you planning to visit this resort? Or have you already visited this resort? Please let me know in the comments what you think about this resort and let me know in the comments if this video helped you to make your decision through the resort. This is the room. Uh, we got the regular Manta Suite and I'm going to show you what's inside of it. This is the view. What you have? We have a huge bed and on each side there is a little table where you can put your things on it for the night. There is also a charging uh, socket on the table and the lamp. Then. In front of the bed there is a couch and on the left side we have quite small TV for the size of the room, I gotta say. I think the TV is only about 39 inches wide and for the distance to the bed it's quite small. Then let's go on, please ignore the mess. Um, here we have coffee machine, water. A phone we have snacks the snacks are not included in the all-inclusive package the water is included you get a free wine and there is the mini bar with the full stacked fridge um, everything is included except alcohol and chocolate bars are not included as well and this is not included so basically only the water and the sodas are included and here you have the wine fridge, which also is not included in the full um, uh, all-inclusive package. Then you have a nice little picture. As you can see, there's not a lot, a lot room for storage. Then you have a pretty cool mirror. In our opinion, we have the wardrobe with a locker. You have life jackets. Umbrellas for sunshine and rain and you can hang your clothes in here. Alright, so this is the main area for the room. Um, there is also an air condition which is quite loud. If I turn it on you will probably hear it, um, but it works absolutely perfect. So now it's starting up and as you can hear it's pretty loud. So yeah, let's get into the bathroom. This is the bathroom. You get two sinks, a nice big mirror. And on the left side you have a toilet, you have a BD and plenty of room. And on the left side you have a rack where the towels are usually. The bathroom hasn't been made at the moment, but the cleaning stuff is on the way. And then you have the shower right next to the balcony. You get provided with shampoo, hair conditioner and body shower gel. And they taste quite good. And then here you have a door which leads right outside to the balcony. And here's the balcony. It's quite big. You get two chairs to lay down. You get a table with two chairs as well and then you have the stair to the sea and when we go down um, this pole I picked up from the ocean and whenever you come out of the sea you have a shower with fresh water so you can rinse down um, your salt water convenient I really love this stuff and here is the ladder where you can jump into the ocean and this is the view from our balcony. Over there you can see the suites, the big rooms. Then this is the silent beach and there is the walkway. All these bungalows are the same as ours. So yeah. And here you have also a sliding door which you can open. So this is it for the room. Uh, I really love the room. It's big, it's very clean, in very good condition. And there's no complaints at all except the bed is a little bit on the hard side. If you prefer a soft bed, mattress, then this might be a problem for you. But everything else is really, really, really good. Let's talk about restaurants. So behind me you have the main restaurant, The Sands. 
this is where most of the time you will be eating you get breakfast here and sometimes dinner also in bad weather conditions there you can get lunch it will not be in the green carpet you will get lunch here and this is actually the worst restaurant I experienced the food isn't that great it's just average to good it's um, also an a la carte restaurant and sometimes they have buffet for dinner it depends on the night the service it really depends on who you get um, it can be very good or it can be absolutely terrible this is my least favorite restaurant there's also a lobster tank in the middle of the restaurant where you can order your lobster um, the lobster cost extra and they are cry quite pricey this is the view you get when you're sitting here the views are actually pretty amazing from this restaurant very beautiful behind me there is the music station at night time or at dinner time they're playing some music up here which gives a nice mood sometimes uh, or it can be annoying um, it's a little bit of a trade-off uh, it didn't bother me uh, that much but yeah these are the cooking stations you don't really need to go here they will bring everything to your table also which you can see everything is sand here so you barely you never have to wear any shoes here you have the daily table you can see what's going on today most of this costs extra for example romantic dinner floating breakfast and so on cost extra and there it's quite expensive lagoon wine, wine tasting everything costs extra and it starts at around 125 dollars and it goes up to 200 us dollars so it's quite pricey then welcome to the green carpet restaurant which is here this opens for lunch uh, it's right next to the pool so the green carpet restaurant is another a la carte restaurant here you have lunch when the weather is good um, you have a variety of foods it also changes daily so you can get uh, all the time something new um, here the food i would say is okay ish it's okay ish to good you find some selections which are really good and some others are like okay but yeah this is the restaurant it's quite big and it is always a table free so don't worry about that here is the pool area the pool is quite big actually it's really cool uh, it's good to refresh uh, it's cold uh, depending on the weather of course but um, it's good to refresh because it's always hot in the Maldives and you can see behind there there are the chairs only problem I would say with the chairs are there aren't enough though it gets quite full quite quickly and you have to reserve a chair early in the morning to get one here I think that's very inconvenient I think they should put more chairs there and put more umbrellas there because you want to have shade because it's too hot in the sun but everything else the chairs are comfortable they're also providing water which is really convenient it's in ice so it stays quite cold all the time also you can get these cocoon chairs in front of here there are also just a few of them so they are quite busy all the time and you have to come early to get these chairs and here you can get your fresh towels behind there is the shower and there's always towels available behind me is the cheers bar there you can get your drinks juice and coffee also some snacks but they're not always available i don't know exactly when they are available but it doesn't matter you can get lunch at the green carpet here in the evening there are live band and dj playing and the only problem with that is it's quite loud so when the dj is blasting his beats you can hear it all over the island you can hear it until your room and that's the one thing which is pretty unnecessary on a quiet island like this then the cheers bar is pretty good you get your cocktails here the whole day so from the pool to here it's not far it's just a few steps and you can order beer all day long it's all included and this is quite good in the next room you can see the shisha area and the pool area where you can play pool the pool is complimentary so it's free to use whenever you want the shishas cost extra and they are about 40 us dollars for one shisha i think that's quite expensive in greece we had like 15 dollars for a shisha so i'm not quite sure i've never seen someone smoking here so yeah then you have public restrooms right here they're always very clean i love it Two sinks, as always, uh, very 
clean bathroom. There's even a shower. So whenever you want, you can take a shower right here or you can take a shower here when you're leaving and you're not in the room anymore. So you can fresh up here before your travels. Then on the opposite side of the Shisha Lounge, you can see the biggest room on the whole island. That's the suite. And zoom in, yeah. So that's the suite. It's quite big and there's only one of it here. Um, it has a private pool and it's pretty cool, I think. I saw it on the pictures. And next to it there are the sweet villas and they come with a pool as well. And I think they are pretty neat. And this is the view. Behind me you can see the Italian restaurant La Pasta. There the food is actually incredible. It's proper Italian. The pastas are al dente. The pizza is not full Italian as it should be. It's absolutely perfect. Don't miss the tiramisu right here. It's an absolute treat and I love this restaurant. This restaurant is only available for reservation. That's a little bit unfortunate. So you have to make a reservation that's not always available. So yeah, make sure you get a reservation here on this restaurant. It's the absolute best. The service is impeccable. It's amazing. They are so good people. People here only can recommend this one. This is what it looks like and it actually comes with a proper wood stove oven for the pizzas and yeah, quite cool stuff. And now we are at the Teppanyaki restaurant. Um, this one is actually quite good. So they cook in front of you, Japanese chef and sorry and the food is actually amazing and the show is pretty cool. Uh, it's a very funny show. So yeah, highly recommend also eat here. Also for this restaurant, you need to get a reservation. So we make sure you get a reservation at the Rising Sun, the Panyaki restaurant. This is how it looks like. Mm. And when the blinds are open, you get also a pretty amazing view. And they're already preparing for lunch. And here is the entrance to the villas and to the big suite right next to the Tepanyaki restaurant where we came from, here, right here. And then we move on to the rest of the island. Here you find the Tree of Love, uh, that's the love area. You can buy souvenirs from the gift shop, like these little things, I will show you. You can buy these in the gift shop you can write something on it and then you can hang it on the tree and there's a heart and you can make a wish and you can hope that it comes true also behind here we have the chess board where you can play some chess i think it's really cute that it's blue and pink unfortunately there are some figures missing right here so that's a little bit bad i think they should restock but yeah Except of this, I think this is really cute. And it's a cute area and most of the time it's quite empty here. So you get uh, some quiet time. This was the whole island. I'm already around it. And when we go a little bit further, we come back to the entrance. So this is it. This is what you get on this island. There's nothing more. I showed you everything and I give you my conclusion in my room at the end. See you guys there. And back to the room. Now is the conclusion time. Let's start with the pros. The rooms and the whole resort is very clean. I can vouch for that. The, everything you read online, it's super clean. There is nothing, there's no sand on the floor. It gets wiped out daily, twice. Once in the morning, once in the afternoon. Second, the design and branding of the hotel is on point. Overall, the hotel, there is this wooden, woodstock, hippie feel. What you can see here is also in the restaurants, on the chairs you lay down and so on. The branding is on point. Also the you and me branding, the pink and blue is on point everywhere you go. The Panyaki restaurant and the La Pasta restaurant, the Italian restaurants, they are excellent. They are very good. No complaints at all for these two restaurants. There's also a fifth restaurant, the H2. Oh, H2O out there in the sea. It's the submerged restaurant. We haven't tried it. The prices are ridiculous. You pay $200. Okay, it's a Michelin star chef, but the restaurant is not Michelin star. 
So that means the restaurant didn't make it. So only the chef from previous restaurant has the Michelin star. So I doubt that the food is actually priced okay for $200. There are Michelin star restaurants. They cost $300 and so on. But there's the restaurant. All the pros of this hotel is definitely the price. It's very average price. In my opinion, we paid around $600 US dollars. It's a very fair price, but what you pay is what you get, which means the main restaurant, the green carpet food is average. The service is average to bad in these two restaurants. There is nothing real special about this resort. They try really hard, but I just think that it doesn't make the cut. If you think you can get luxury here, you're wrong. This is not a luxury resort, okay? So this is an average price resort with average quality. Except the rooms are above average in my opinion and the two restaurants are above average. Everything else is on the average side. In my opinion, your budget is a little bit tight so it's only on the average side, then this resort is for you. But if you can open up your budget and you can pay maybe $800 to $1,000 a night, then you can get luxury resorts with way better value in my opinion. And this is it for you and me Melodies. I hope this video helped you. If you like this video and you want to see more, please subscribe to this channel. And if you like this video or even not, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me a lot. It keeps me motivated to make more such videos. And there are more videos coming, so don't worry about that. And I think it's starting to rain pretty soon. Look at this weather. As you can see, there's a dark cloud over there and it's coming right towards us. So I'm going to cut it right here. And I wish you a wonderful day. See you guys on the next one.